Yeah, so we see in the field that the rack room or the rack space or the rack mount is far away from the location where the speakers are placed or the theater room. Uh, and in that case, you can run up to about 300 feet or 100 meter XLR cable with great performance with Room Perfect. For doing Room Perfect, you need our Room Perfect calibration microphone. And that is because there's already a calibration file for the microphone built into our product. So they're already being adjusted and aligned to each other. So, Room Perfect microphone with our products. So when doing one perfect calibration, we'll hear some tones of some high frequency and some low frequency. And uh, those are actually immune to noise. So when you're calibrating and someone's open the doors or something happens in the room, so people start talking, it's going to filter that sound away of not knowing what that is compared to the proprietary audio. And that's going to be filtered out. So it just takes longer, but does not touch the quality of the room perfect calibration. We do recommend a quiet room because it goes faster. If there is noise in the room, it just takes longer, but it does not touch the quality of the room perfect calibration. So when you start doing your room perfect calibration, you will place the microphone at the RLP, uh, so-called reference listening position, or what we call the focus position, your main listening seat. And after that, you will start placing the microphone around the room to get some room knowledge. And in that case, always have the capsule of the microphone have line of sight to all the speakers, both for the front stage, side, rear and overheads. So sometimes you're doing room perfect calibration, let's say about 93%, you place a new position and it still says 93%. That is just telling us that the room knowledge in those two positions are the same and fulfilled. So just keep going, place the microphone in a new place in the room to get to that 95% plus and you are good to go. So more traditional room correction system in a 2D mapping platform use a target curve. And that can bring some limitations or some challenges. Uh, for instance, how you're pushing certain frequencies for drivers and amplifiers to create distortion. Uh, with Room Perfect, we're using a 3D mapping, and that means we are measuring impulse responses on and off axis from the speakers to understand what is the room and what is the speaker. It is also very true to the tonal and timbre matching the sound of the speakers. We do not change the speakers in the room it's in. We're trying to take the room uh, out of the equation.